Welcome to episode 8 of the Rust programming language series. In this episode, we're going to create an application that uses libraries and accepts user input. You need to have Rust and a text editor installed on your computer for this episode. So, I've already created a project, and if you don't know how to do that, I'd suggest that you watch my previous episodes on Rust. So we're going to start off with a comment. What is this application supposed to do? Well, application is supposed to accept user input and print it out. So application accepts. All right. So we're going to change this print line statement into saying, what do you want me to right question mark all right so then we're going to create a new mutable string so how do you do that well let mutable um, to print equals string new how do we accept user input well we need to use the standard in function in the standard io library so we're going to use the standard IO library and then we're going to use the standard in function and we're going to read a line and we're going to put the content in mute to print. And if this fails, we are going to print out failed to read line semicolon. All right. And then we're going to print it out. So print line variable to print semicolon. All right, so save that and then compile it with cargo. I want you to write one. And as you can see, it prints out one. All right, so what if you're going to use the standard in function in the standard IO library a lot? Well, what you can do then is you can write use standard IO and then you can remove the standard from here because Rust knows that if, that if you write IO you mean to use the standard IO library so save that and recompile I want you to write out 2 and as you can see this still works perfectly fine so what if you know that the only function you're going to use is the standard in function? Well, then you can write use standard IO standard in, and then you can remove the IO from here. So save that and recompile a third time. Now I want you to print out three. And as you can see, this still works perfectly fine. That concludes this episode. Good luck and happy coding.